Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing three different horror games. All these games are part of an horror anthology, and we'll be specifically playing a sheep gun, split screen, and intermission. With the first game being a police body camera horror game, where an officer encounters something horrifying on a domestic call. We have a situation near Elm Street and Chrono Lane. Any units in the area, stand by. Ah, uh, that sounds well, Elm Street. Possible domestic abuse. Multiple calls by surrounding neighbors hearing screams. History of calls prior of today saying the father of this residence punished his police force Dispatch 995, this is P423. I'm on my way to the residence now. Send the address to my coordinates. P423, address sent. Advise, please use caution. Father has a battery charger. P45 and Tangle Man, your name is Roger Pollen. Spawn and open the... Fuck! Dispatch, screaming coming from inside, I'm welcoming myself in. You have authority. <laughs> ah, well, body cam. And since there's a monster here, I will be leaving. Or not. So the opening said we had eight bullets only. Or maybe it's eight bullets per mag, then you can still reload. Hello? Spine to a domestic call. Officer Manley here. You wouldn't happen to be a monster, would you? I need a different division for that. We need to call in the men in black. They usually handle aliens, but they handle this stuff too. There's black goo everywhere. Door's closed. Investigating upstairs. I'm coming upstairs. Please stay where you are and no sudden movements. There is a weird shadow on the left. Keep the room. Back her up. Open. What the fuck is the glass? Clear. Hello? Hey! Hands in the air! I said, hands in the fucking stairs! No, it's the fucking infestation! I'm coming! Locked. Oh. Camera, camera, oh camera. God. That is not normal. Double tap. Shadow beings. Get away from me! Think of it. What the fuck? Yeah, that's fire coming out of the head. This is no domestic abuse call. It's a fuck, 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 
fucking shit show. Paranormal activity in this house. Requesting assistance. P423, I'm pinging spectral teams nearby. Change tactics from patrol wolf to survival sheep. Oh, they got spectral Cow teams. Now. So first off, yeah, you would usually you usually don't send one officer in on something like this. I mean, th there's flying arms and legs and heads. Stay where you are. Dispatch. There's, there's a, there's a girl here. She looks like one of those fucking things, but is uh coherent. She's talking to me. Take it down. Ask her when conversion started. When did this all fucking start? I, I don't really remember. A few hours ago. Dispatch. She said a few hours ago. Roger. Get her out of there with you now. Let's go. Stay behind me. I'm not sure if I trust that. Center mass. Close shot. It's, it's keeping me inside. Spectral Team 27 is heading your way. Comms will be open between you two. Follow any of their orders. This is Spectral Team 27. We're in the vehicle speeding your way. ATA. Six minutes. Stay put. Stay alive. Easier said than done. So can only move forward or Took that shell being down with a baton. Good on you. Let me get my gun back. Shell beings weak to bullets. And batons. They actually, they actually, we took quite a lot of things. I feel like I'm getting infected, or it could just be shadow being blood. I don't remember this room. Basement? Trapped here now. Oh, oh, oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> I guess I guess that fucking got me. I'm not bleeding. It's just my imagin it's just my imagination. I'm not gonna die. Fuck. P four twenty three, where are you? I'm in the basement. <laughs> Who we are. Let's fucking go! Yeah. 
Hoorah! You went into the other dimension. I'm sorry. They took me to the other side already. Who the fuck is coming downstairs then? Red. Bye bye. Story is the house in the corner of Elm Street and Chrono Lane is haunted. What's freaky is the lights go work. Porch light turns on every Monday and it looks like as if someone lives there. Did you see all these? Um, did you see all these? Um, somehow. Someone gets attracted to that house every year just to be taken to hell. Well, that's what everyone says. But no one can prove it since obviously there's no proof people go missing. Say the reason. Say the reason. Say the reason. Say the reason. Is that the world forgets about the person ever existence. Huh. Creepy. One. Apparently live though. Um, we, I found their online profile. Uh, it was uh, 423 stated they only survived because they didn't walk near the skins, whatever, whatever that means. Uh, turning on all the lights, it made absolutely no noise whatsoever. They, uh, they ended up cutting off their own tongue to to not yelp or scream. <laughs> I don't think they make you quiet. One last note was that a floorboard creaked loudly and they had to stand still, which felt like a lifetime. Oh, this is why there's a mic feature in this game. <laughs> so, this one. my smart ass, I'm gonna break in. See what the hell is going on there. And just cut off my tongue and survive, you know? If that's all it takes to become internet famous, count me in. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, seriously, I'll record my time there to get that proof and show everyone nothing happens there. So, basically, turn on all the lights so nothing can get me. Make no noise. Don't go anywhere near the skins, whatever that means. Sure. Turn on all the lights. Make no noise. Don't go anywhere near the skins. Turn on all the lights. Make no noise. Don't go anywhere near the skins. Turn on all the lights. Make no noise. Don't go anywhere near the Oh, cool. Also, I'm talking, making noise. That means I'm probably dead. So there's our perspective, hence the split screen, and there's the camera. You can turn on all the lights. Don't make any noise. And, uh, yeah. Don't go near the skins. Ah, uh, my light did not turn on. Okay, we got some lights on. 
Not very good ones, but they're on. Cool. Okay, need my light. Could be one. What am I seeing over there moving? Okay, never one down. This is where we started the game. I don't see a light switch in here. Uh, what is this bathroom? That helps. Going upstairs. It's all good, just a bedroom. Turn that on, helps a little. Upstairs, living room maybe. That's pretty curious. Hey, wait a minute. I don't see it on the real world. Oh, weird. Computer room. This place looks pretty modern for a place that's supposedly haunted and it takes your soul. All right, I think there's probably just like one left in this room that was open mysteriously. Oh, it's oh, not bad. These things are clipping for the shelf. That's a little odd, but it's no big deal. Going for the wall, too. Oh, there we go. Oh god, it's like a fly.
Just one sniffle, like, set me off. Oh, interesting. It dropped us off in the next game.
Go this way. This is weird. See, so yeah, I had to completely go full quiet in that part of the house. I tested, like, even just like a light, light noise. That's it, that's it, they get you. Up or down. Yeah, I saw something up and above and down. It's a little weird. I think this is a separate game, by the way. It's not the same uh, thing. This never game in the anthology. Like, just literally called intermission. Hello. Hi. Are you lost? Yeah, I think I am. Human. Come. Closer. I will get you home. I'll just trust the eyeballs in the dark. That sounds smart. Hello. You think it would be that easy, you pathetic, disgusting dormant. Dormat? Piece of human trash. Dorman, yeah? We will play a game. If you win, you leave, lose, and I will chew your bones. Gurgle that sweet blood like nicotine and lick inside those tasteful eye sockets. Now, rules are simple. Block the direction of tax using direction and block cards. Same applies to attacking me. There is a timer when it reaches zero. I end my turn. Let me show you a vision from an unfortunate human before you. Inscription? Oh, this is weird. I fucking devoured him. Back right. Wait, I should block right. Attack left. Oh, 
Oh, you said just lock. There's one. Lock left, so attack right. Got you. Lock right. I will defeat the skeleton. Attack left. Block right. Block right, so attack left again. Attacking on my right, I need to block on my right. Where's my block? Attacking left. Okay. I win. You stain of a shit. You think it's time to go. Oh no, we are not done. We will use two moves now. Do the first, then the second. Now die. Block right. So attack left. And then... Block left too. Are oh, you a weird tentacle thing now? So block, so attack right. And then block on the right. We don't have enough arrows. There it is. Okay, so attack on the left, block on the left. Block. So attack on the left and then attack on the right. Nice. Attack right, block left. And block left. So far, so good. Attack right, right. Almost. No, oh, attack left, left. This thing has got like a foul mouth, fucker.
Get out. Get the fuck out of my realm. Live your puny life. Fine, don't get eaten by me. Don't ever wake up here again. I won't. So that's it for the horror anthology. The other games are in other videos. They're in the end screen here. So if I had to rank them, I would say a sheep gun is the most visceral and the best overall balanced. If the, the premise is a little cheesy and you know, some of the voice acting makes it seem more like a B-horror movie than the other ones. Split screen is also very good. Like there's some real tense parts there. Cause like you gotta like keep quiet with your mic. The, the vision, the way it's kind of split, how the monsters appear in one thing, they appear in the other. And they don't even like attack you right away, right? Like you can like walk and touch them as long as you're quiet. The only problem with split screen is that it is a bit slower paced and the two visions actually kind of make you kind of nauseous after a while. Repeat, repeat compulsion, I like I think I said before, was very creative. I actually like that one a lot also. Probably like that more than split screen if I had to like kind of weigh them against each other. Just the peep was good. But the problem with Just a Peep is that it's a very, very close liftoff of a certain manga chapter uh, that basically has a bunch of horror short stories. I'd probably rank Intermission last because it's, it is kind of interesting visually and like sound wise, but it's pretty slow and the payoff isn't as good as the other ones. The look up is a pretty good payoff, but it's very short. And I think I hit something's also pretty good. Has some good tension, some good sound design. But fairly short also, so it would probably be like, she is the best, then I would actually give re repeat, repeat Compulsion, number two, and then I think I hit something as like a top three of the run. But it's overall pretty solid. If you, like I said, if you want to see what I'm talking about with some of these other games, check out the other videos, check out the end screen, or open link somewhere around this description or top pin comment. But the first game this developer did was called Meat, and Meat was kind of a fast food horror game sim more comedic, cell shaded And then they disappeared for a while. Like, like, they didn't do anything. And then they came back with this, which has got some really good ideas and some good things that they're throwing around here. And then they did the nearsighted You Lose Your Glasses horror game, which also had some really good ideas, some good scares. So it's a big jump, creativity-wise. Like, I, I'm, like, wondering, like, did they, like, go off to, like, Damic? <laughs> they, they went to the, the time chamber and went did some training, played around with some concepts or something like that. But yeah, they have a good direction on their horror, Looking forward to more of their games in the future. Anyway, so thank you all for watching play these three different horror games. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.